Okay, I'm back. Um, my headset is not currently playing sound, but thankfully that's not an important part of Magic the Gathering Arena. So my opponent will need to... If they go land Vraska, I get pretty destroyed. But I think I need to kill the most power, which is the J Light Ranger, rather than an elf. Okay, Vivian Reed, that is also annoying, but acceptable. Now, this is a minus three, so they can't minus three, then minus three again. I'll wait for them to choose a, what mode they want to use before using the cast down. Now, they tap the elf to play the Vivian Reed, so it's likely they don't actually have another land at this point. So they're minusing to kill a dragon's horde. Hmm, so if I cast down the elf, that means they wouldn't be able to play a Vraska next turn, but I will go to six. I still think I need to stand by what I did before and cast down a Jade Light Ranger. No one said restoration was painless. Link established. Sorry My if you, gone. Uh, heard that. I'll see if I can cut that out of the video. Hmm. Battery low. Link established. My gone. Okay. There we go. Is it my turn? Okay, it is my turn. Now, colloquially, this is what they refer to as a Hail Mary. Hoping that they don't have an Assassin's Trophy or Chupacabra variant or land into Vraska would be probably the worst. If all they're doing is assassin trophying Nibazidae, I like that. Okay, that's good for me. Because I get to draw a card off that. I'll use that one damage to kill the elf. Then next turn, I'll use Nimizet plus Dragon's Horde to, to keep the Vivian Reed off. Um, that activation. Let's get a critical. mountain. Got a swamp. Jade Light Ranger, sure. So they get Jade Light Ranger, which they'll probably keep, I imagine. Okay, so they binned the Jade Light Ranger and got a forest after that. So that means they have land six in hand for their Vraska. Now, if they did have. Vraska, I think they would have played differently. So I'm going to play as though they don't have it. Oh no. Oh, Arena did it again. They didn't hold up blue mana when casting Nimizet for dive down. That is very bad for me because now I can't hold up dive down. And they can Vivian read the Nimizet. I still think I will... Hold up the dive down for the Vivian Reed activation on Nimizet, which I assume is coming. And hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. But definitely not ideal. I would much rather have dive down plus a card draw from Dragon's Horde. Because I would... Because I would definitely use Dragon's Horde to keep that from happening. Hmm. Now, they could have Chupacabra'd at the previous turn, but instead they used Assassin's Trophy, so I don't think they will have another Assassin's... Oh, sorry, I don't think they will have a Chupacabra. I'm just going to deal one to this. In case they do have another Assassin's Trophy, I will get to deal one more to the Jade Light Ranger. But if they, for instance, have a Chupacabra... Oh, so they... Sorry. Um, 
they can't shoot Picabo because of the hexproof on the Nimbuset. That was my mistake. Okay, they're using Find, and Find is returning two J Light Rangers. Yep. And I will deal one damage to J Light Ranger. So they have two J Light Rangers in hand. But if I get to untap with Nimbuset, like we've seen in the past, it's unlikely that my opponent will be able to get back into the game, no matter how many explores they get. Yep, Jade Light Ranger. Explore. They so explore Lanawai Elf. Presumably that's going to the bin. Fine Broker. That is staying on top, maybe? Okay, Fine Broker staying on top. Niv Mizzet can deal one damage to Jade Light Ranger. Opt. Yep, Opt can deal one damage to Jade Light Ranger. Opt draws a card. It'll get Sarkin. Sarkin, yep, I'll take Sarkin. Draw a card. Deal one damage to Jade Light Ranger. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, potentially seven if I need it. Yep, I will just play Ral. I'll start ticking Ral up. Beat me. Just choose wisely, because the other one's going bye bye. Yep, and I will just play a tap land. And just tapped. The first thing they're going to do on their turn... Oh, I guess they... If they're going to Golgari Find, Bra the Golgari Find Broker back Vivian Reed, they might not be able to get rid of nib on this next turn. So I will just wait. Certainly, if they plan to Find Broker back a way to kill nib that is not nearly going to be fast enough. I mean, you just saw how much advantage I got from one turn. Okay. Fresca's a good answer. I will definitely say that. Okay, I'll respond to that by a shock on Braska. Draw a card. And that one extra damage will go to Vraska. Um, I'll also draw a card with Dragon Sword. Wouldn't want to give up one damage, would I? Yeah. Deal one to my opponent. This deck just feels so good to play. I strongly recommend this deck. So just looking for another Niv miss it, maybe some more threats. Nicobolos, okay. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm one off from um, using Nicobolos. So I'll just go Dragon Sword, bury my opponent in card advantage. Man, if you like advantage, watch this play that's about to happen. Yep, just waiting for my opponent. So my plan is to play Dragon's Horde, play Sarkin, use Sarkin to cast Nicobolus, which will put a counter on both Dragon's Hordes, which will allow me to draw two cards. Does that seem like a fair thing to you? Doesn't seem like a fair thing to me. Okay, I think the opponent might have either given up, gone AFK, or does not realize that it is waiting for them. 
Uh, so play Sarkin. Yeah. Then I will use Sarkin to make red red. Make red red. Nicobolus. Yeah, my opponent has to discard a card, put count on each of these, they discard Jaylight Ranger. Play this tapped. You know, just casual card advantage things. Yep, and turn with that. Yeah, so even if my opponent was to be able to find Broker back Vraska and play it this turn, which they have nowhere near enough mana for, that would not nearly be enough to win this game. Especially since next turn I'll be able to draw one, two, three, four, four extra cards, five if you count Sarkin, which I definitely do count, because these lands um, can become real spells real fast. Yeah, I think the opponent has given up. They've given up. They can't they can't handle it. Well, I'll do my best to try to defeat them quickly. Yep, yeah, they are doing nothing. Tax step, end of combat. Yeah. Draw a card. Yeah, they just conceded. They concede match or just game? Okay, that was just game. Okay, now how did I want to sideboard against green black again? Okay, so against green black, I was boarding out Sarkin. I was keeping Horde. I was boarding out Shock. Taking out a Niv Mizzet. I was bringing in Phoenix. I think I misclicked on something. I don't think I want Thief of Sanity, although in the past I have brought it in. Hmm, thinking, what else would I want? I'm worried about Vraska shenanigans. I want Beacon Bolts. How many is this? This is 57. Let's just play normally. Let's get a Nimizet in there and a handful of shocks. That's 61. So I'll get rid of a shock. Yeah, that seems good to me. Nice cheap cards. Uh, some interaction. Some good value threats that draw cards. My opponent seemed to be AFK at the end there. I don't know if they'll continue to be AFK now or if they'll want to play the game. Look, as much as I like Niv Mizzet, I don't think you should keep a hand with three copies of it. Just waiting for the opponent to choose. Hand is very awkward. I'll keep and scry trying to find a threat. Yep, discovery is good for trying to find a threat. Now here's the moment of truth. Will my opponent play cards? Yeah, looks like they are, in fact, back in the game. Okay, they're revealing Elvis Reborn, sure. Yep, that's what I mean. Just need to find a threat. Cracking Drake is a good threat. So cast Discovery. Um, 
so I have my fourth land coming up for the Drake already. I'll just keep a second Drake so I can chain them and hopefully reduce the impact of the Eldest Reborn. So, this deck doesn't really have great um, three drop plays. So, just gonna pass, chill out, relax, wait. I don't think I want to cast down a branch walker. I'll do it end step if they don't play anything. Okay. Now I'm going to be playing Crackling Drake next turn, Crackling Drake the turn after. I don't have time to play cast down on a whim. I'll just play it now so that I can continue to curve out. So I'll play the Sulphur Falls, Crackling Drake. Now they can Eldest Reborn this, but something of mine is getting Eldest Reborn, and I would much rather be a Crackling Drake than a Niv Mizet. There's also not much in the graveyards for them to get, so if Niv Mizet, well, if nothing else big enters the graveyard in that time, then all the better. Yep, Eldest Reborn taking away the Drake. That was unfortunately inevitable. Blue. Blue. Play this red, red, cracking drake. Yep, yeah, I'll pass turn. Yep, yeah, I'll discard our land. It's important to have a plan, and in this game, I thankfully have a plan. Um, they're duressing me, so I guess I will just fire off this dive down now. No sense not to. Now the question is, on my turn, would I want to play Niv-Mizzet? If I do play it, then they'll be able to get it back with the Elders Reborn, if they can Assassin's Trophy it in their draw step, or what have you. And that would be very bad for me. If they get back Crackling Drake, it's only going to be 2 power. That's the only thing in there. So, hmm. I was tapped out there. Well, I had one mana. So I feel like if they had a good threat, they would have just played it. It's very possible they have removal spells they didn't want to use on Crackling Drake there. If they play like a Vraska, I get brutally destroyed. Attack. I don't know. What could they have? What could they have that they haven't played? More lands, yes. They could have Fine Finality. They wouldn't have played that. Um, they wouldn't have played a Chupacabra, for instance, after... Um, duressing and then my thing as Hexproof. They could have, like, two Chupacabras. I'll just play down Nib is that. The risk of them having Assassin's Trophy is is real, but it's a calculated risk. Okay, well, they did have it. That's unfortunate. Thankfully, their deck is definitely not well suited to um, comboing off with it. They don't have very many instant sorceries. Yep, so now they're going to take the Mizzet, presumably. This uh, could get dicey. I wish I had this back. If you Dispersal, then uh, the Mizzet would get bounced to my hand, and then uh, we'd back to square one.
So yeah, I think that would be my best draw. Dispersal. Okay, Fine Broker is a good draw, getting back Eldest Reborn, presumably. And what's my opponent's other card? Mystery card. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven lands. So I can Dragon's Horde. Plus Nickel Bolas the Ravager. Force them to discard a card, presumably the non Eldest Reborn card. There'll be no reason for them to discard Eldest Reborn here, I would imagine. I don't know what they would keep over Eldest Reborn. Okay, they did keep the random card. Could be a second Eldest Reborn, for all I know. Okay. Could be a fine finality. That would be definitely a card they could have had this whole game, and they wouldn't have cast up to this point. And they would keep over Elders Reborn. I can't think of any other card it would be. Maybe it was Vraska's Contempt. Maybe they thought they needed... They needed that Vraska's Contempt to... Sorry. Yeah, they needed to get rid of Nicobolus or else, essentially. And that it was worth it doing it this way. Yeah, they're going to attack me for 5, 6, 7, 8. Put me to 5. I'll just draw a card now. Yeah, just a land. No blocks. Okay, definitely not looking good for me here. Crackling Drake. Best draw is still Nib Mizzet, I think. Oh, Nib Mizzet. Nice. Nib Mizzet. Now, like I mentioned, my deck is a much better Niv-Mizzet deck than my opponent. So, hopefully, I get to untap with Niv-Mizzet in play. If I do, I might be able to chain five spells to kill Niv-Mizzet. I might be able to kill them directly. Okay, Vraska is very good here. They'll probably kill Niv-Mizzet of mine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, my turn. I can't think of what I can do to get out of this. A dispersal. A, a dispersal would put me back in the driver's seat. In fact, I would even say if I drew a dispersal here, I would be winning. Oh, they even get to draw a card? Gross. Opt. Hmm. So if I bottom opt, only that one card can be it. If I take opt, the card below it could also be dispersal. As gross as it is, I will keep opt and opt again. Well, this game didn't go as I planned. Unfortunately, if I had played, if I had not played Nib Mizzet on the turn that I did, I waited one turn, I may have won the game. But by the same token, if I had not done that and they untapped and played Vraska, I could very easily have lost. Okay, now that I'm back on the play, I will board these Thief of Sanity in. They're just far too slow on the draw, I feel. Now, my opponent doesn't have Wild Growth Walker, so I think I don't need Cast Down. Uh, I'll take out Shocks before Cast Down, but I don't need all the removal spells. I do need to keep quite a few for Beacon Bolt. I will board in some Duresses, because they had both Planeswalkers and Eldest Reborn, but I don't want to overload. I only want a little bit. So I'll cut one of each of these. I'll have to rely on creature combat, most of all, to get my advantage. 
because now I only have like two cast downs as single target removal spells. Okay, this hand is not perfect, not perfect by any means, but my suite of threats I do like a lot, and my opponent hasn't played a Chupacabra yet, so maybe they don't have Chupacabras. They've been playing Contempt, so that could be a choice by them, that they wanted to play Chupacabras. By all means, if I know that I'm going to draw a Black Source on turn, turn 2 or 3, I definitely would keep, so... They mulliganed and scryed bottom. Maybe the fact they have so many contempts and not chupacabra is a good reason to not have Phoenix, but Phoenix in general is a very good card against that kind of deck, so. Yeah, perfect. Swamp, Wild Growth Walker. Well, now I feel silly for saying they don't have a. Uh, don't have Wild Breath Walker, but oh well. Now hopefully we can ride this Thief of Sanity to victory. And I don't mean like how the Thief of Sanity is riding like some Spectre. Not not like that. So they revealed Jade Light Ranger, Overgrown... Oh, they revealed Overgrown Tomb, then Mill Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, so my opponent has the proverbial nut draw of turn 2 Wild Growth Walker, turn 3 Jade Light Ranger... Hopefully we will be able to battle through that value with Thief of Sanity. Thief of Sanity also preventing your opponent from exploring too much, because if they explore to the top, I can just mill it with the Thief of Sanity. Now I will attack. We'll start stealing some spells from them. Okay, they have Vraska, Golgari Queen, Find, Finality, and Forest. I will take Vraska, and at some point I will cast it to destroy a cheap creature, although I will not do that just yet. It'll be better for me to get down this phoenix first. That'd be a cool combo. Vraska, sacrifice the phoenix, get an egg, and then on every turn you get the egg back. Probably not good, but you know. Ooh, that's cool. I didn't... You might not be able to see it behind my thing, but because it's from Thief of Sanity, there's like smoke coming off of it. I do find it funny during sideboarding, I'm like, well, they didn't have Wild Growth Walker, so this. So I guess I'll board this way. Oh, and they I don't, they didn't see this. Like, I didn't see Chupacabra, so I'll board like this. And in this game, they obviously go Wild Growth Walker, Ranger into Chupacabra. But, oh well. Hmm. They didn't have any good attacks last turn, so... I'll just play... Crackling Drake and Opt on this turn. And hopefully, I'm still able to stave off whatever attacks my opponent has. This, unfortunately, as an 0-4 is not very threatening. When you sideboard in, what, five, five creatures, it is a normal thing for your... Yep, there's a Contempt. Yeah, they... When you play against this deck enough, you will get used to them having the perfect answer when they need, like, if they had three Chupacabras in hand, they would never be able to attack. But they had the Contempt, so value. But the previous turn, they had the Chupacabra. Well, I'll opt. Discovery Dispersal, is that good? Yep, next one I'll have 6 mana, so I'll play Vraska and Discovery. Trying to find him, is it? I'm sure that wouldn't be a surprise to anybody who has watched any of the stream that I really want to uh, find him, is it? So, Discovery Dispersal. Ooh, Beacon Bolt. So how many do I have in bin? I have one in bin, which will be two with Discovery. I could just put in the graveyard and I jumpstart it later, which seems better to me. I don't need tons of single target removal at the moment. Yep. So, yep, and I drew Dive Down, which is a neat card. Although I'm not going to keep that up 
this turn. I'm going to tap out for the Vraska. Yep, and kill that. So, we're in a decent position, especially if they can't answer the Drake this turn. If they can answer the Drake this turn, we're going to be in a bit of a dicey spot. Hmm. Beacon Bolt is not super strong, only dealing 2 damage. It says 3, but when you cast this for flashback, or well, for jumpstart, it exiles itself. Okay, Jade Light Ranger, that is about as good as we could hope for. Okay, they revealed Chupacabra, and they they milled it. Okay, that is not a good sign. The only reason they would mill Chupacabra when I have Crackling Drake in play is because they have powerful 6-drops they want to cast. Okay, they're attacking both at, um, both at Braska. I'll just take my free block. So now my plan is to keep up a Counterspell for whatever they play. And hopefully be able to draw some dragons to draw some cards. They're gonna re reveal a swamp, okay. Yep, so dragons horde. Now I'm worried only about them playing a six drop essentially, so I don't need a shock for this for Syncopate. I don't need to play Beacon Bolt, because this will hold back all their attackers. The only exception is if they play Carnage Tyrant. But I don't know what else I would do different if they played Carnage Tyrant. I'd be very far behind. Most of these lists only play um, 6 mana Vraska, not 6 mana Carnage Tyrant. Although times do change. I have, certainly have seen kind of Tyrants around, but only because really the Black Green Mirror has become popular. Kind of Tyrant is often very awkward if your opponent just has two, three, three creatures, or I've had Drake trade with one a lot. Okay, so I know this doesn't. This taps me out, but it seems like a good enough value to cast this X equals three on the Fine Broker. I don't want them to get back Vraska or Chupacabra, anything like that, if I can stop it. In a sense, dive down is a counter for Vraska, because they'll play Vraska, try to kill Drake, I'll dive it down, and then attack at the Vraska. If they make a token, I'll just, you know, cast spells or whatever. is thinking, thinking, thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, Ral is a good draw. I have one, two, three, four instant sorceries in the bin, so I could deal four if I wanted, but I'm just going to play Ral and hold up my two instant speed spells. And try to find... Nimbus at. I will take Thief of Sanity, but I'm not going to tap out for it this turn. That would be silly. I will opt, though, because I might get a land, might get another opt into a land. Oh, so what are they... They're Assassin's Trophy on Rao. Oh, that's odd that they had Assassin's Trophy and didn't use it on the Drake, but oh. sure. Hmm. Oh, they did that on my turn. Now I might play the Thief of Sanity. Um, have I played a land yet, though? I wish there was a way to check. Because if I haven't played a land, I would like to play the Thief of Sanity. I will... I don't think I've played a land yet. Because I drew Ralph for turn.
Yeah, because I drew Ralph a turn, so I didn't have a land until then. Yep, no attacks. Yep, my opponent needs something good here. Like, even a finality wouldn't do it. The Eldest Reborn. Hmm. Sure, that is fine. The Eldest Reborn can resolve, and I will sacrifice a Cackling Drake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I can just take the seven damage this turn and go to five and attack back and take a card from their library, which should be able to stop me from dying. Alternatively, I can block and dive down. I think I will block and dive down. This play is quite weak to Assassin's Trophy. But they didn't have that, so that's good. I feel like I have to risk it there. Risk them having a removal spell. Risk them, I don't know, killing this. Because I'm quite far behind, but not anymore. Ah, oh, well, I'm a genius. One attacker, attack you, hit you. Take Jupacabra. Man, this game's easy. So I'll tap my lines manually. Thank you, Magic Arena. I do not need you to auto-tap and make me lose the game. My little steam vents just way off the side there. Yep. Near miss it. Get a counter on Dragon Sword. I will draw a card with Dragon Sword. And we'll deal one damage to Merfolk Branchwalker. Um, I will just keep playing my spells because I'm going to have to discard next turn. Deal one damage to Merfolk Branchwalker. Drown Catacomb bottom. Yep, Nicker Balls, that's a good draw. So I will. Make sure I have Sulphur Falls in hand so that I don't have to discard my Nicker Balls. Now they need to draw something really good here. Or they are going to be very far behind. So, what can they get back? There's a Ral, Cackling Drake. Oh, they had another land. Ral, Cackling Drake. Do I have a Naturalize effect in here that I can kill the Eldest Reborn with? Does not look like it. Okay, draw a card. Deal one to my opponent. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So every time I do the math, I'm always one off from playing, um, playing everything I want. Well, let's just... I'll attack with both. See what I hit. I might hit a way to kill the Elders Reborn like a Vraska. Yep, hit a Vraska. Perfect. Um, I will play Nickel Balls first. And I'll play Vraska. This is real magic. This is a... Excuse me for just clipping that during the game. That was a very fun game against Green Black. Fun because I did I wasn't just winning the whole time, but at the end it was a uh, pretty one-sided. Anyway, hopefully we will uh, win our last one. We're currently four and one, and I will be back in a moment for the potentially final round.